just want to show you a thing you can do to protect your phone models, especially EPO ones like my new Tasman. And you can see there's a little dent there. The EPO foam that XFly use, and I think it's probably FMS as well, tends to be a little bit soft picks up dents. Here's a dent that was picked up just here. So the thing you can do to uh, help protect it and just keep the hanger lash down a little bit is by using this stuff. Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss. I had to get this from an importer in America because you can't buy it in Europe but it's a very thin literally it puts gloss on floors for wooden floors doesn't smell bad it's very low very low odor and what you've got to do first is just get some isopro isoprono alcohol IPA and just give it a little wipe just to get rid of any uh, mold release first and then you give it a couple of coats of the pledge. They're very, it's very thin, so you don't want to put a lot on. You want to put just enough to give it a, give it a coating, and then let it dry for an hour or so, and give it a second coating. And that's it. I'm going to do this wing now. Obviously, I'm going to do the whole plane. But I'm going to do this wing now, and I'll show you how easy it is to put on. I'm just going to get a bit of uh, tissue paper. It's not like you can use toilet paper like this because unlike water, it doesn't doesn't make it just break down. And that's literally all I'm going to do. Just give it a quick wipe over with the isoprene alcohol first. It shouldn't affect paint or anything like that. So you can just give it a quick wipe over. Oh, it actually does take paint off a little bit. so. Don't do the paint area. That's already painted anyway, so we won't worry about the paint. So that's all I'm going to do with the uh, isoprene alcohol. Just take that bit off. Now it's quite thin. This this pledge. So. What I'm going to do is just pour a little bit, if I can get the top off. Just going to pour a little bit into the uh, bowl here. And then go from there. It's quite splashy. Now I can't get the top off at the moment. Oh, there we go. It's got like a three nozzles at the top here. So it tends to uh, garden spray a little bit. actually block the holes a little bit as I said it doesn't have a strong doesn't have a strong odor but what you want to do is if you have any left over after the first coat you just want to put something over the top of it to stop it drying off on you it's totally clear I don't know if you can see that Just going to do apply a light coat. I hope you can see what I'm doing there. That's literally all I'm going to do. Try not to get on the electronics, the paint around the servos, the paint on the servos themselves. And you can see where you've been because it gives it a it's wet, it's wetted. You can paint over the uh, the plastics, okay? And that helps uh, set them. Try not to get it too much in the hinges. Because
because the hinges will uh, stick up a little bit. In fact, you might want to actually pull these up a little bit. Let me, oh, that's the, that's that hinge. Give that a little coating. It's very quick to do because it's so thin. You can literally do a wing in a couple of minutes. Just do that end piece. The first coat should be very thin. You're just looking to just get a get a light coat on it. And what I've put in there was, was just enough to do the wings, bottom side. That's it. A little bit there to do. The best thing to do is just get a, a reflection going. You can see where you've where you've managed to close it and where, and where you've missed. And that's pretty much done. And uh, after three coats, the very first coat you want to make really light because you don't want it dribbling. Now I did make a my first coat a bit heavy on one of the wings on the underside. But you can see there's a lovely hard sheen on that. And this is the underside. Again, it protects and it gives a good sheen to the wing. Let me show you the mistake I made on the underside of the first wing. If I can find it. Yeah, you can just see it there. You can just see it here, there's a little bit of a run here. But uh, it's on the underside, so it's not too bad. So first coat you want to make really light. And then don't don't do heavy coats on, on, on any on anything really. Keep them fairly light. And so much is like water, so once it's dried, it's a very thin coating it doesn't add much in the way of weight 